Hey everyone, Terry Crews here, and this is the second round. The first round is complete, but now the playoffs continues on 2K Sports. One of the teams will be heading into the conference finals and win the whole thing. Let's get going and start now. Beast and Woodspoonie and other commentaries will be in the pregame show in each games. Let's roll. What's up, folks? It's me, Phone here. I'm What's Burning Now. This is round two of the NBA playoffs. For the enjoyment of all the guys, we are about to have a first look right in between of those two matchups. If you already finished watching Hockey, thank you so much for tuning us in. And we're ready to have that next battle right in between of the alley. It's the Dallas Mavericks. And you're ready to face Saar and Mile High to face against the Nuggets. The number one seeded team against the number five seeded team. As for this moment, it's like a between of us two as we're ready to find out who can pay the next to get the buckets in. This time, it's where it all comes in. Starting lambs are our as follows. Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, Derek Jones Jr., P.J. Washington, and Daniel Gasper. On the other side, we have Mr. Ball Murray. There's Contagious Cromwell Perry, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and Nikolaus the Joker. You'll catch. It's time now to find out which team will have the first one to take. Round two starts now. And the next commentary I have across is Terry Cruz, and he's also along with Pipe Rush and Son of Bates. Ali the Force will be on the sideline. Get ready for tonight's game matchup. And we'll see you all later. Back for the post game show after the fourth quarter comes to a complete. Let's do it, team! This is Mile High. Ready to take the second round to start this game as the Mavericks are on its way down. Kyrie Irving in the locker room and he's ready to get this thing prepped up. Mavericks, Nuggets. Next, with the tip off after this. Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry Cruz, and I'm here at Mile High Ball Arena. We've got a great matchup to start for the second round as we're about to be underway facing against the Mavericks. I'm here along with Paintbrush and Centipede's of the third commentary. Ali LaForce is on the sideline. Jamal Murray and Luka Doncic are the key matchups in the point guard position for a night's nice tip off. On the other side, we have his Gordon. A swift on PJ Washington. Then for the small four. That's all called for across the way and right in between of the zones. That's it. We're ready to find out which next team goes in. As we have Michael Porter Jr. And he's also along with the other team. On the other side of the as, as along the cross. You'll see where he goes with Jared Jones Jr. Then down in this point guarding position was Jamal Murray on, Don on Donkish. Jokic is on Daniel Gapper. And finally, Kyrie Irving on Contavious Corwell Pope. Let the games begin and start the matchup. 5 280 is the center court. As right now we start game two. Here's Gapper now finding Dunkich. With Moro, he finds a pass over again to Daniel Gapper. BJ Washington finds Luka Dunkich. Dunkich with a step up shot. Oh, Dunkich loses that one as Jokic with the first rejection of the night. Now, I was saying about Luka Dunkich, he's just been really trying to make that feel really well. You know, it's never going to happen like that. Jokic strikes his spot this way through. That's when you start off with game one in the second round. Here's Irving now finding Luka Doncic, trying to do some second attack. He makes a good try as Luka Doncic for his first bucket. Now that's what Luka Doncic has been doing, LD for sure. Has been playing with his hero league and he has never been to do it in his accomplishment with his goal and playing a select media team outside from the hero league step-in job. 
I'm sure that Luka Doncic might be able to do much, but he does. But I've got to make that one clear right, to make it. But the win against the, the Denver Nuggets, he only just had that one a lot of score percentage since March 17, 2024. Now, they were expecting what I was always noticing for. And Luka Doncic is another way to put it in there. I want to see what they can do. Here's Murray. Tries to find a pass to Jokic, and it's stolen by Washington. With his first steal, here comes Doncic. Doncic, right for the two, and a big shot made in here for Luka Doncic. That's six points the game, with six minutes to go. Oh, that's what Luka Doncic is for. Play hard, play strong. Gonna have that one with another communication there. The rebound puts up by Daniel Gaffer. On his way down is Jones Jr. Under six minutes remaining, he finds Washington. And now he finds the pass again to Jones Jr. Jones Jr. finds it over. Loose shoot two for Duncan. Makes it in there. Make the three. Now it's a 9 2 game. Derrick Jones with the assist. It's now a 9 2 game. It's a trail by seven. Here's Gordon on Washington. On a wraparound, that shot is off the target. Jones Jr. grabbing another rebound. This will be his first. Jones Jr. now finds again to B.J. Washington. Washington now finds it over with the pass over again to Jones Jr. The bounce pass hit off the field pitch and it's back to Katie's Carwell Pope. Here comes the brass break point. Stepping down with the drive. That's rebounded up by B.J. Washington. That'll be his second rebound of the night with five minutes going in. You know, you just can't handle it now because they were really making this into a lot of challenging difficulties. They're making this one a lot of challenging on their sets, but they're not really are moving our feet enough. They gotta like be, keep it going and do it again. Here's Stockage, that makes a double. That's 11 points in this game. 11-2 score, as Irving makes the assist. Just gotta play hard when you do. That's when you get a lot to start for Dallas Mavericks to have that extension up by nine. Timeout call by Denver Nuggets with 4.34 left to go in the first. Still a lot of time in this period. Now as Jason Kidd and uh, Mike Malone are definitely in between each other, but there is no contest of finding it who has the perfect head coach in this matchup. But as I mentioned here before, these two are really kind of impressive and they're putting in a great one to take. How can they ever do that, guys? Well, it's all what I was expecting right now. I mean, when all I know about Mike Malone, he's really like a better head coach. I mean, he's perfect for the Denver Nuggets. They got their team all the way to the finals for in 2023, last postseason. They're making this one a lot of like a changeoff, and it may not be what they want to do. But all I can definitely ask is not what you always really wanted to do. Play harder than respectively. They must have had another way that can try to like save a day. And I know about you get everything about Jason Kidd. He's just really taking it all to see. After playing with the Dallas Mavericks here as a former player, he now is refused to be a head coach this game. When since 2013, 2012 was the last one that made this appearances. And that's what's happened here before. They were really making this one a hard changeoff. And that's what's 2012 in the last one of the game. This is what they have to do to play hard on their career matchups to have it in. Here's a setup for Luka Doncic for this season. And the last 11 games of the run. Denver, trail by nine. Maul Murray now finds Jokic again down Gaffer. Gaffer, here comes now Jokic. Oh, what a cut in bounds. Now we cut the digit down by nine. And Donkins will have another change off. Now finds it over again to Washington. Washington watches it over again to Gaffer. Gaffer tries to put the pass back again to Donkic. Donkic swings it across. Irving, we're going to step outside. Five to shoot. They've got to make a shot for the two. It's missed again for the inside. Jokic with the rebound now fights Porter Jr. Here comes the alley -oop. What an excellent take for Aaron Gordon and Porter Jr. with the assist. Now, there's a tough off way. If you give it off to Michael Porter Jr. and then give it off to Eric Gordon on the timing on the alley oop, you've got to play successful. And that's what happened is they're playing it really well to have that one in between. I know they're really done well, but hey, 
Let's see what they can do to have it back. Here's Jones Jr. for a two. This one takes it in here as he has his first bucket. And it's Jokic. Nope, Donkic with the assist. Yeah, that's what happens now because Donkic was making that one assist. That one's going to make a lot of comeback better. Play it over with his better, uh, better curricular form to play it in. And Jamal Murray finishes off on the drive. And here the Mavericks will head their timeout with only 3 of 4 left in the first quarter of the game. Well, I don't know what they were doing, but they are really trying to expect now. They've got to, like, try to talk it over to start. As far as the game is right at this moment, this next game, as we will have a tomorrow night's game, as there's only one game that's going to be happening right at this moment, as all of our games will be hold. So right at the moment, it will be the next part of it. As we've got the last part of the game seven, this will be the only one game that will be played for before the winning team moves on to the second round to face against Miami Heat, the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. Now, I was expecting, maybe I want to see what they can do. I think Indiana Pacers are going to move on to the next round, and then face off against Miami Heat. That might be another team you're looking for. I don't know if it's going to be helpful, but that might be what they're getting for. But you may have a chance at that point if they're going to take it in there for good. Well, I'm going to say now, I'm going to go with the number two change off. I'm going to say that it's going to be the Cavaliers and the Heat. I think that second round is going to take what they've got. But I'm pretty sure that most of these guys can definitely handle it all between Jimmy Butler and Donovan Mitchell. Let's hope there is another way to get that one stopped. And here's a status run for the block game since All-Star game. They're in fifth place. Only six in between. Well, the definition of this one here needs to be all what they want to do. They have to play it at the hard bear at the right timing. If they don't, then they gotta have to try another blocking percentage to have it in. After a basket for Dallas Mavericks, here's a chance for Reggie Jackson. And here's Brock with the shot. And puts it around. At some, he makes his first bucket. <laughs> After Reggie Jackson with the assist, 2 30 left to go in the first. The pass off again to Kleba. Kleba finds it over again to Tim Hardaway Jr. Hardaway Jr. moving the ball back and forth, and he's finding Exa. Here's a take inside the middle. Kleba up, and he makes a drive in. Kleba's got his first bucket after assisted by Exa. Just make a good look out here. Maxi Klebos really like going in pressure in, but he's been doing what he does to keep it in here at the same time. And the pass to Jackson. Layup, unable to take it. Oh, I don't know what happened here. That must be Maxi Klebo with the rejection. Mm, uh, I don't know if that is. I mean, if, if it is that importantly, I mean, I don't know if it would be, but don't judge them when they're trying to keep it over into it. Way. I don't know what's going on that'll happen. But they need something to go with there in the team instead. Kleba for three. It's a train outside, and he has that first three pointer for Maxi Kleba. And it's Exxon with the assists. Now keep an eye out there. Maxi Kleba might be getting a three pointers in there if he has more room. Sometimes he makes a three pointer, sometimes he doesn't. You have to keep an eye on it for good at all at once. Lively makes a rejection on the shot, and that will be his first rejection of the night in game one. Now it's a new substitution, as now it has Watson checked in for Porter Jr. And here's Braun. For the fade, spins across on XM, trying to keep an eye on him. Five to shoot, and for two, it's good. Chris Braun with his first bucket, 20 to 12 is the score. Let's make that quick because Chris Braun had that one with a better look to have that one coming. Luka Doncic finds a pass again to XM, and here's Doncic for three. Missed the triple range outside. And Braun's got that ball. Watson towards the corner. Nary in, now find Jackson. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Watson gives again to Schroffer. The screen for Zanaji. 
Gosslers, and it's stolen by Exa. Here they come, off again to Dunkage with a slam, and he dunked it off. Now that's what no one questions out. Luka Doncic made this one a terrific jamming opportunity to keep that sound crowd silent in the first quarter. Now that's what they don't preserve on. Luka never gets in the way when you played before. And a shot. And it's missed with 13 seconds. And Doncic finds a pass again to Lively. To Klima, finds again to over to Luka Doncic for two, and this one's off the rim. And it's the first quarter. They are up by 10. 22 to 12 is the score. We'll take a quick break. Second quarter is coming up after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Never mess that one up. Lively with the great rejection. Let's keep that one in there if there's more room. Just tuning in for the second quarter, we've got your live coming in action. Denver Nuggets trail by 10. And also for Dallas Mavericks, are you looking to get a goal go ahead chances for the Nuggets? Well, just what they do, it doesn't mean that they really wanted to get that one in there. I'm trying to find another way if they can get there. No offensive on this one, let's see what they do. We start the second quarter. Exum, he's on the inner side of the player with Watson. And across from here is, um, is Darren Jones Jr. Because right now it's PJ Washington on Eric Gordon. And across is Powell. He's on Nikola Jokic. Irving's on Cantavius Carwell Pope. And finally, it's across. That's right at the moment. We have his we have his across here and his Hardy on Jamal Murray. Murray starts things off. Hardy's on him for the two. That one's moved it out. He can't hit the two-pointer. This one goes for the rebound. That will be his third rebound for B.J. Washington. And here's Hardy. Pretty outside. Give a good back pass back again to B.J. Washington. A screen for Powell. Want to make it work? And a drive makes it in for B.J. Washington. That's his first bucket of the night. Just make it in there. B.J. Washington must have had a good strong play. Go right there, he wanted to take his own route. He just found the right spot. Here's Murray for three, takes it. And it goes to the outside, it's now 24 to 15. Reporter from Alley LaForce. As you know, as Jamal Murray, a Canadian professional player, has been playing it for most of his time, now known as the Blue Arrow. He's been talking to it. One of the quotes he says, for the next team, I have no right to do what I have to make. This is what they can't do. My team is just needs me to do the better job I have. And it's not when you do to keep on striding in. It's when you have to do to get this done right. We have our own. We can handle it and put the fight to the win. Well, I love that one here. It's because of what you know of Jamal Murray. That's when you take care of it. You've got it all. Fight for the win. Free throw makes it for Nikola Jokic. On now to a new changeup as Lively the second will be checking in. As now as Derek Jones Jr. Josh Green checked in. And as for Denver Nuggets, Watson checked out as Michael Porter returns on the court. The second free throw good for Jokic. Making it a little bit clearer right now. I mean, Nikola Jokic might be the Joker. Well, let's see what they do if they have some defending time effort to go with. Now the pass now finds Green. Green spaces over again to Irving. Irving with a step back. Nothing here. Here's Jokic finding a spring. There's Murray. Murray for two. For a three-pointer, this is the target on the outside. Now he finds Hardy. Lots to make his way across. Now finds again Washington. Washington spins it across. Now finds Hardy. Over with a three. And takes it in. Green with his first three pointer of the night. It's a 27 17 game. Well, just what they all expect now. Josh Green, I don't know how is he doing this, but that three pointer must be getting him maintained. And nothing can't slow that one out of your way. 
Powell is on Jokic. He's in the middle. Oh, what a drive. And that one cuts it up here. Back down by eight. Time out call by Dallas Mavericks with 526 to go. Now, you know, that's an error for the end there. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. But don't take a lot of time effort if you have it in there on your own line. This is what they can't do. That calls mistake. They really are not going to like that call if something happens to them. We've got a halftime show coming up as we were ready to have you on on the other side. Because right now it's Kenny Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chap O'Neill are ready to take things on for the halftime show. That'll be all games here coming up after the first half completion of the game. And this will be what happens with the first half between the Nuggets and the Dallas Mavericks. Might be what they are getting, but hopefully it might be what their chance is to get it through. And he has a look for Reggie Jackson. This point of the game was only 16.8 for a 2022-23 season. But that's what they all taking, big time. You know, that's what I don't really say about Reggie Jackson. It's because of what he doesn't really take all this pressure. You know, it doesn't make that much harder a difference. When you try better on the offense, you try your best to get back into it. I know that game is just harmful to do it that way, but let's think of it this way. Do your best at it and keep the hard play bound if you have the right time. And he will take it in. DJ Washington with another bucket. He has a second bucket. Just keeping it in there. I mean, I don't know what PJ Washington does. That's what I was really noticing. I'm going to make that one lock there. Here's Gordon. Now finds Porter Jr. Sliding across now, finding it over again to Murray. Nearing the logo. Down the three. For two. Oh, and he's fouled. Daniel Gaffer got a piece of it, and he's knocking over this guy now. That's another foul called on Dallas Mavericks. Now, you just can't play enough when you're doing on defense. That's going to make him okay for of how Jamal, Jamal Murray did. I don't think that would never help it, and they would never like that call. They're just going to have to make that one completely go rush out and over someone's life. They need to have that one and never look at over here. Murray gets the first free throw. And, and something to say about Jamal Murray, that's what they always expect him to do, and they, they really have that another chance. An opportunity ranging for the Canadian player's best generation to have that stride. That career goal brings it in, and he has done most of his moment goals in his lifetime. Hoping there's another way that he can handle that one, a tough, clear way. There's Hardy, now finds a pass, now again to Green. Green trying to roll again to Irving. The bounce pass finds Washington with two. That rolls it over and it's now Gordon with the rebound. Contavious Carwell Pope with the ball and up with the layup. Oh, nice tip in for Michael Porter Jr. He has another bucket tip. Making that with drive me. You're really like a perfect F Andy to take it over. The bounce pass finds Washington. Washington for two. Not tough shot makes it in for PJ Washington. Six points this game, and Irving with the assist. I don't know what you could definitely play for, but that's Washington. How does he make that contest even harder? 
don't know what they're expecting it to. You can't let this happen. And they're trying to keep it in there. Moving the cases again. Uh, just let it go on with the flow. I mean, why do you have to handle it off that way? I don't know. It just don't, it doesn't mean like he really takes it over. But that's what the play does put the impact. On the inbound, he's going to make a hard drive, go even a tough way to get through. Irving, down to three. Here's what to do with another shot. And it goes off the rim, and it's rebounded by Gordon. Here's Murray. Trying to find his way in. The spin around. The screen cut up and Michael! Oh, nice take for Jamal Murray. It's just a 31-27 game. Now do you have it? Because the fans are really loving it. They're really making that one a hard play. Timeout call by Dallas Mavericks with under three minutes to go. Just when you make it cleaner, do it with your best. All hard work pays it off. New changes on the court here for the Nuggets and for the Mavericks. It's now as Lively the second are back on the court and Luka Doncic on back on the court. Now a chance right now. He's with Tim Hardaway Jr. He now has it over again to Lively the second. He swings it over to Doncic. Doncic takes off. Good play. Doncic with 15 points. And it's Lively the second with the assist. 3.30 left to go in the second period quarter, and here's Murray. Oh, slow it down, baby. That's where you just start things over where you can't mess them up on. Well, point guards never do, and they never will. That's what Jamal Murray had yeah, that one slamming. I love that split. Most of it's just what they all do for. Finds a pass to Murray Jr. Is it over to get to Donkic? Donkic trying to give it over. Here's the play, Maxi Kleba. Down to one. And makes it. Nice play for Lively the second. He has his first bucket made. And now with under two minutes remaining in the second quarter. On a shot. Oh, another throw down. That's Naji. With two slam dunks in the second quarter. First, Jamal Murray. And then, it's Naji. Well, they're really wanting to do some of the little back-to-back switches. I don't know what's going on with the dunks, but they really showed them that like they wanted to impress someone, making that one look a terrific play. And here's another one. Here's Tim Hardaway Jr. Hardaway Jr. up with the shot. Good play up. Fancy one. That's Hardaway is making his first bucket. Lively a second with his second to six. On his way back to Braun. Braun tries to give it again to Porter Jr. Porter Jr. trying to roll his way in. Finds Jackson. He's on him. Back again to Porter Jr. One minute to remain. And Braun for three. Hits it free. Triple range in. Back down by three. Now they're just making this one a close game. And they, everybody is like cheering things on. They wanted a close game in the first half. But they are not seemingly to be surprised enough that they wanted to play it like that. Donkish right toward the outside on Jamal Murray. He finds a pass over to get a Hardaway Jr. Over oh, and out to Donkish for the two. Takes it in. That's a never bucket made for Dallas. He gets now 17 points in this game. And a number six puts his clicking stuff in. Here's Murray. Slides across, find the shot, and it's in. Jamal Murray with a number two. 39 36 with 30 seconds to go. Now, you may always be playing like this. I mean, Jamal Murray might have another way to take it, but I don't know if they could have it all. Let's find out if he does more. Find a pass to Don. Hitch looks again to Lively. 15 seconds to left remaining in the second. Hardway Jr. Takes again to Duncan. Duncan, the step back for two. And he will take it in here this time. It's 19 points. And I will end the first half here. Great play in this one, but I don't know what they will do for the second half. Let's see what they can do to get it back. 41-36 to score. And I will be the end of it. As we send you down to Ali LaForce, and she's courtside. Hey, Ali. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket, and uh, get sets their shot, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. All right, Allie, thank you. The break. Stay tuned. Right Third right quarter's here. coming up after this. Number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He ended up with 19 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second round. And big fellow, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Their defense has been consistent around their quarters of the 60s. I'm sure they get an earful in the locker room. Amazing they've been able to keep it close. Boy. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in, ready for the second half, we're ready to get this thing back at Ball Arena. All for good sakes. As it goes for Luka Doncic for a great start. You know, I was really hoping that that would be have to say Luka Doncic has been really playing really well. You know, talk about that one. They've really been letting this one team to let it fly. All set to start now. The first half has been turning great, but the second half might be on its way. As we start for the second half, Luka Doncic is on Jamal Murray. Kyrie Irving is with Duncan Davies, Carwell Pope. Van Gross is Washington on Gordon. Derek Jones Jr. is on Michael Porter Jr. And Gaffert's on Luke on Nikola Jokic. Here's a chance. And Gordon takes a steal. On a chance for Catavius Carwell to shoots. Misses the target as Jamal Murray has it. On uh, Gaffert's got it. Oh, we got a timeout call as Jamal Murray's already been scampled up already. Well, Mike Malone has to talk to right now. I mean, he's already down on the court. They're exploring the player out of here. Let's watch what happened. Now, you see when this is going to happen? I'm going to have somebody ask if there is another replay. Okay, it seems like that's going to be a replay call. I'll send it over to the other side as I have me phone standing in. Alright guys, thank you so much. With the call of Jamal Murray, he had that one stumbled in there and right in toward the center. Let's have a look at what happened over here in this game part of the game. Here's the play where this happened. He made this one a shot, but what happened is was crashing down and right in between. He made it unclearly. He didn't really think he was going to be able to step it in there. That left foot, that happened with his footing right technique. It didn't help him stay stable. It just went off balance. It doesn't really step into it what he had to do and try to step it into it again. All that happened was it was a big snap that it happened to be one of the, the worst part of the place that he has to try to do. But that wasn't continuously a turn to be right in between. Yeah, I definitely have to tell you now, for Jamal Murray, he was trying to continue it, but it just changed and it just went down on the floor and he went like, icing up at it and he just had to try to like take a bruise out of it pulling his sound strain, and this was not really turning it really well on his knee. He has been struggling all bit. Can't really get up at the moment because the Blue Arrow has already been hurt, and everybody's really disappointed of Jamal Murray because nobody was really into it. And that's what happened. With the rebound, it's not really turning easy enough that he has to get there. And so with that, Jamal Murray will miss this part of the game. As that moment, he's out, and he's off the court for the start of the second half. We all were in on him with a speedy recovery of his game. Back to you, Terry. All right, guys, thank you so much. That's right now, the new substitute player will be on the court. But first, here's a point for the lead points of the season for Luka Doncic. Great set of the play. He's in first, 33.4. Yeah, I always know about Luka Doncic. He's been really playing it. All of his concerned accomplishment, he had that one to finish it off with the better to win the goals in the game. I like it when he does more of his better work effort. Michael Porter Jr. officially finishes off the three after Jamal Murray is hurt in the medical room. Irving's up and makes a try. Irving with his first bucket of the game in the second half. Now a 43-39 game. Davis Garwell up both. And Chopper, oh, he went out of bounds already. He did not really impress if anybody that wants to get through it. 
Well, that's just what they are doing. This is not how it's happened right now because the Michael Lone, he's really telling the to try to stay out of the sights of the baseline. They don't want them to try to like keep it out of here. If something gets right into it, that means it's gonna like put it back. That payoff is not going to be easy when you play for him. Reported Bradley LaForce, and he did talk to Jamal Murray with about that. He had that one with a broken, broke his knee of his unknown left knee string that must have happened to, to keep him pulling right in between. While well, experimentally, I don't know what they were doing, but that was mainly what the questions consuming. I don't know what happened to this guy, but that it's just a hard one to make it feel. He's like already hurt. Ow! Weak! Man! I don't know if this one may be turning it into, but hopefully he'll be fine. Probably game two. He might be stepping in there and getting ready for the next one. Hopefully, Donkins for the three. Nowhere else to go. He makes another triple range. 22 points in this game. He's on fire right now. Luka Donkins still on a hero streak of a game. I mean, you all just got to pay him off what he's done and better his strength for this game. Carwell Bobby's on Irving, and Stromper's on Donkic. The screen, here's a setup. And Carwell goes for three, misses the target. And Irving will have a chance with his first rebound of the game. He finds Luka Donkic, over now again, and he step out of bounds. Oh no, that turns it over. Now it's Nuggets ball. Well, that's what they don't do. They, they don't focus on that one with the uh, with the baseline. He's not really like trying to stay out of it, and this is what something that happened. It caused it then, and he stepped it over. That's a big turnover. Here's Stroffer on Luka Doncic with 5.30 left to go in the third. And he will finish the drive with this first two. Dallas up by three. Got the lead down. As Dunkage will have it again over by Irving. Irving slides it out of here. Luka Dunkage now finds Washington. Looks it up, and it's well stolen by Porter Jr. Porter Jr. on the way. Carwell Boat, looking middle, turns around with a shot, and it's denied by Gaffer. Chopper off the yoke into these fouls. Daniel Gaffer, the second personal. First team foul, ball on Dallas. Bruce Milton, the free throw line, shooting two. Just make it clear enough. I mean, if you have more time to room, and if someone gets on you, you have another one to take the free throws in and try to tie it up to get a close range of the game. 4.52 left to go in the third. Still trying to find a way to get this go ahead straight away. Not really what they're expecting, but Joker might do it again. The first free throw set in for Jokic, for Nikola Jokic. As for a new substitution right now is Watson. He checks in for Michael Porter Jr. And he gets the second free throw. Mavericks are back into the offense hill. Trying to give it over again to Kyrie Irving. Here's a number take for Donkic. Oh, what do you know? He does this one again as Irving makes the assist. Now, he's on this little streak right now. He's just like kicking it off right now. But why in the world would you have to do to make a three-pointer right now? That's crazy. Nobody has done it in his real life. Playoffs of Duke Gay Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, a moment that inspires. ATT 5G, connecting changes everything. And by State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. If you have some time with your tickets right now, there's still plenty, there's still a couple more left. If you're waiting to get in there, you have to make it there on time to buy some tickets here for the BFBI and MA Sandy Experience Tour for 2024. And a chance now, because at this point, Octa Denver was canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
right? It has been ruled out. But if there is a chance here for an expansion plan, they might be adding back in for Denver. Why? Well, it's because of what they expect, and hopefully this might be another change off if they can bring back a mile high to have another BFDI and TBOT experience, and with the inmates standing on the other side too. You'll see what happens if there's a choice. Points off only third place. And Watson's checked back in, and here's Corey right on the corner. Watson. Watson right towards in the middle. The shot! And it's rebounded again by Luka Doncic. Four rebounds in this game for Dallas. That's right now he now gives it back again to Washington. Here's the cut. Doncic up! What a take in! Doncic with 27 points. And it goes back the other way. And it's Washington with the assist. Now I was accepting this one. I'd say Luka Doncic is really like a fire right now. I don't know, how is he going to do? Well, it's maybe what they are expecting here, but that's not what you always want to do. But it's unbelievable how you can play like Luka Doncic from the Evo League. Just no way that you can stop that. To pass off, the ball's deflected. Mavericks will keep the ball alive for his ball. With a look in the Western Conference right now, Denver Nuggets still on a high track. Dallas trying to find a way if they can try to stop one on a big and play. Well, this inbound is not really what they were expecting it to, so hopefully it might be a great way to have it in. And a shot makes it in for P.J. Washington. These guys spur four for the bucket, eight points, mid-range is four. Just keeping it in there, I mean, that's what you know for P.J. Washington. He's just really have that one great. All chance now. What do you know? And Corey finishes a layup. Back down by three, still have some time left. Both guys have eight points in this game. And the pass now finding again to Exo. Puts it over again to Kyrie Irving. He's over now, back to Zuka Luka Donkic. On the drive, he's fouled. Schroffer with his first personal and their first team foul for Denver. Now with the next free throw line coming up for Luka Donkic as they're adding another Dallas free throws at the, at the free throw line. Shooting two will be on its way. Well, you can't just foul him now because if Luka Donkic is like having a little bit aggressive on this take, this is no way they can't let that one just slap it out. It's just not turning what they were expecting to. And it's not when you do play that offense at right time. That's when Luka Doncic has got pretty hard contact out there. Luka Doncic is the first free throw. Now with some new line changes right now as Randy Jackson's checked in. And right back the other way is Braun. Checking in for Carwell Pope and Schroffer. The second free throw puts in for Luka Doncic. He's got 29. Reggie Jackson up on Luka Doncic. Looks for Kite. Great solid defensive effort for Dallas Mavericks. Now finds Doncic. A lot of great rebounds here as Washington has it. He's over again, now finding inside the middle. Irving up, makes a shot. That's another bucket for Kyrie Irving. Dallas still up in the head right now by seven. And a great pass here puts it for Luka Doncic to kick it off. That starting off play is just what they all expected now. He's now trying to have an answer in, but don't take too much when you want. Luka Doncic now finds again to Daniel Gaffer. Wants to take it back to Doncic. And he says, thank you very much. That goes to Gaffer with the assist. Great player in this effort. I mean, I really like what the cut did taking in, in there. But look at this. 31 points. How can he understand it if he does have more room and have more time? This is what is not the biggest way that he is trying to make that one lose the attacker's gear. That is brutally unpredictable. And he makes a finish drive for Kyrie Irving. Two of four left to go in the third. It's a 61-52 game. It's Daniel Gaffer with the assist. Well, this is what they want to do because the moment they're just making this in the heart on this play. I mean, I don't know what they are doing, but that is what they can't do. They can't really have that one messed up. But if you're ready for the next part of the, um, the show, this will be happening here for the FBI and Anime Sandy. 
if you pick South Bear and start things up here for a, for a next part of the shows. If you're on the West Coast, head into California, but it's sold out. The only option now is to get through it, it seems to Seattle, or you can take a trip to Chicago, Illinois. As of right at this moment, there's only a couple spots left. So get your tickets here before they're gone, and there will be and there'll be no no purchase necessary right in between the those of the two. And there will be tons of stuff in between the VIP tickets and general ticket seatings. That's all it does turn to be with new episodes of the BFDI TBOT episode 11 and the BFDI A12. And it I may say, the season 2 returns with a new episode preparing for the next one starting to June to August for episode 15. Catch all year round here. After this first half is finished, it will be the BFDI TBOT only on Jack and Jellicky before the next one gets. And since we'll be on the other side, We've got it all covered here for the BFTI A12. That'll be all right here on these channels. If you already subscribed to them, thank you so much for everybody. So we couldn't appreciate all about your accomplishment, but hopefully, let's have a new goal to make. And we're going to make it a try. Luka Duncan's trying to show him off his appearance. Give it again to, to Kyrie Irving. Oh, he does it again! That's another one for Donkic. And it's Irving with the assist. I don't know what's going in there, but Uncle Drew is just really wanting to get the pass. He's like on fire right now. Oh, somebody stop on Luka Donkic at this point. I have no idea what's going on. Great stop here. And Jokic will have him now for a fucking fat mate. 63, 56 to score. And Donkic will have another way to give it over again to Irving. Try to pull it back. Donkic need to do a find a new set of chain. Looks for a middle to lightly the second. And he takes it in there as Donkic with the assist. Lively the second's got four points this game. And here is Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson with the drive. Solid play by Luka Donkic. He has a stiff rebound, now has it again over Harway Jr. Here comes Irving. And he will take this time as Harway Jr. with the assist. That's eight points in this game, with 43 seconds. Eight coming down for the attack. Finds Braun. Irving Zonkin. Wants it. And a try. Good step away. And he had that Braun with a great drive in perfection. Making this one a playable is, is the appearance to have that goal in made. But that directional changing, it's just what they do. Make this one playable count. That's all that what happens. They are making this one a clean look. That's offense. It's going to pick them up like they did. Here's Irving. And here's, here's Gapper with nobody around. And three players off the mark. That's it. Going for Matt Court. Oh, that is off the top of the backboard. But it's down the end of the third quarter. Dallas Mavericks on a heat streak as Donkic rolls up to 33 points. He's been a killer tonight. Do you believe it or not? You never know. I love Donkic. He's like excellent. Make it play, make it right. Four quarters coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Let's have a quick moment to reveal the State Farm Assist of the Game. Just the way that you are playing for, it doesn't mean that it's everybody's greatness awaiting. But this is what I have seen everybody's favorite play. Off to Luka Doncic and a drive. Oh man, I was always saying that Kyrie Irving, he's like already been playing out there. But P.J. Washington, he's done more than he has. We come down to the end of the fourth quarter. As the start appearances, Frankie Jackson is on Luka Doncic. Doncic is on Lively the second. On the other side we have is B.J. Washington. And he's over right on the other side of it. Right on Michael Porter Jr. And it's Brown, he's on B.J. Washington. And in center, Hardaway Jr. on Catavius Carwell Toa. Looks it again to Doncic. Now he finds it over to get a Lively the second. Finds it pass. With the shot. It's rolls in now. Gordon Jr. back the other way with under eight minutes to start. A spare time, and a throwdown puts it in. Now back down by seven, as the crowd stands.
and Evan Geary. They're bringing the supplies right now. I mean, that Michael Porter Jr. was pretty good with the drive, and you know, he had that one-hand jam down. He slammed it, and that across was able to take all of it clear awaiting him. It's nothing but they really expected to say, how is he going to take all of that for again? Dave Hardaway Jr. up for the drive. And it's good. Another two-pointer makes it in. He has a second bucket made. 69-60 to score, as we're under seven minutes to go. Porter Jr. Goes across, finds Exxon. Sorry, Braun. Jokic finds Braun. Here's the center. Pass to the free throw line, no good. Flappy the second with his second rebound with 6.30 to go. He wants to have that bucket, but time to give it off to Luka Doncic. On the five, he's back. Nikola Jokic with his first personal. That's another team foul for Denver. Well, that's what they always expecting, that Luka Doncic really has that drive coming in there, and that was just flying fast. Because of Luka, Nikola Jokic, he bumped him out very hard. Nobody is liking that call. They were really expecting that Luka Doncic had to do it the right way and do it what he has to do. I can't let that run leave and fall behind because that is going to take too many attempts to stop that play for Luka Doncic in the point guard position. First free throw is off the mark. And now for the Nuggets, as to this point, Najee will be checking in for Chris Braun. 6.25 left to go in the fourth quarter. Luka Doncic trying to take some more time and got another point up ahead. He only hits the second. One out of two free throws for Luka Doncic. They're up by 10. First half did a really great job. And for second half, he just got much better at his timing as angle. I was hoping that that would take a lot of time effort. What a block by Donkins, and it's sending it back to Contagious Curwell Pope. Now, I was not even noticing that. That is what I never seen in Luka Donkins trying to block a shot, and that one was swiping it up. He had more room to have some timing available to get there through. That is just unbelievable. I don't know how Luka Doncic does, but that is just like you keep it over. You kick it out, just get it back to her as you can. After a bucket made for Dallas, and he's found. Uh-oh. He makes a bucket one. Are you kidding me? That's when Jokic never sees that coming. Oh, my. I am just really like our pound right now. What in the world? Lively the second is just that as the White Palace checked in with 546 to go. And for Denver. Adding another free throwing percentage. Schroffer checked back in for Najee. Excellent free throw for Nikola Jokic. We're coming down to a 5.30 mark in the fourth quarter. Dunkic gives it again to Powell. Powell for the finish. Solid performance effort for Nikola Jokic. And Stroffer will now have it over again to Jackson. And he makes a one-hand dunk down. 65, they're coming back down then. That fast, they're down by seven. Look at Donkic. Trying to show him off now right across the board. He finds Hardaway Jr. Looks it over again to Luka Donkic. Finds another one to Hardaway Jr. Slides across that. Finds power. With a wrap around. Solid performance again by Jokic. And here's another one for Schroffer. Sliding it across. Chef Brown chatting the Nuggets. Reggie Jackson for two. Jackson, 72-67 to score. Under five minutes. Just need to have the head there. They don't want to leave it alone like that at all. Now gets right toward the corner, trying to find another way to get in there. The motion drive now from Ace Hardaway Jr. It's the power. Here's the chase now. BJ Washington up. That shot. This is again. 
Brady chucks in. Finds again on the outside look. Here's the number one for Jackson. Passes again to Stroffer. Back to Carl Wilkel. Hardaway Jr. finding him. Brady for Jr. Good! Back down by two. Under four minutes remaining in the fourth. Well, they expect it now. Luka Doncic is just running to have that rope crowded down. They need to have another one surging in there as you can. The pass finds again in Washington. With an open room. The three misses even out. That was going to make it, but that stayed out. And he ties it in. Madness calls time with three, very five remaining in the fourth quarter. That regulation period is not going to take all of that. I don't know what you could definitely say for it, but that is just what you believe on. They just can't believe in what they've done. Time not called by Dallas Mavericks. Looks like that Michael Porter Jr. wants a show to start for the Mile High team. Let's find out if he does. Keep it in here all night and all day. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by Adidas. Oh well, we have some moment of time. Let's have a look at your New Balance player of the game. All for the game at once goes to Luka Doncic, LD for short. Now, that's what you all expect from Luka Doncic. He has a lot of points for gaining their timing. All thanks to his point guarding position, he really has a great call of him and trying to make the finish of it work. Well, you can always say, I mean, that's what Luka Doncic is. I mean, how powerful enough you want to be? Just when you can't just make him playable. I mean, that one takes a time effort. All for once. The struggle can continues as their both teams are even. Looking for the next play in the game, and he finds again to Exo. Looks again to Luka Dunkic. Dunkic gives again to Green. Back again to Washington, now finding again to Green. Move the ball back and forth to the, to the Dunkic team. Down to five. Here's a three for Powell. And he makes it in. What a shot for D.Y. Powell. Bear up ahead by three. Not many everybody has to call. I mean, sometimes center guards don't really have an answer to make the threes. They are really are having a little bit of a difficult time. But they are not really are trying to have it all. Gotta have to play it up there over the wheel. Oh, that's it. Now that dunk in. We are in three minutes. Dallas needs to get a timeout call to get a new switch off on their offense. Well, it's a good idea to have a switching offense in there because they don't do really well enough at all. They need to say, you know what? We need to change it up again. This is nothing that's going to get over this. Second to last timeout call by the Denver Nuggets. Expecting to say what they could do if they wanted to pick it up right away. New changes on the offensive court. Back to a starting five. Need to get back into it. Josh Green's checked out. Trying to watch his way across and now trying to back it in. It's Hardaway Jr. Finds again to Green. Back to Cal Powell. Powell right toward again to Hardaway Jr. Now finds it again to Dunkich. Dunkich trying to put his way across to Hardaway. Here's another one. Hardaway to Dunkich for two. And he takes it. Count the bucket. D.Y. Powell with this loose goal effort. That'll be his second personal foul as they all count that bucket in. Well, they don't really just do well enough at all. I mean, that's what the problem is causing. For Denver Nuggets that are just trying to leave that out, but D.Y. Powell had a loose ball. That's not going to take him a good look at that part. The three-pointer not able to tie that game. Washington looking it over now finds again a down catch. Looks again. Hardaway Jr. again to PJ Washington. Off the rim. Here comes Jokic. 
satisfying already. I mean, I don't know what's going on. They're not completely getting ready to do this. Fans still growing loud. Donkey's right fighting again in Washington. It's again Green. Green, Washington. Hard way for three. Good! Takes it out. And then a two-pointer races in. Dallas putting it up by five. He has six points in this game. Well, you can expect it what they are saying. The crowd needs to get right to another response. Gary Porter, Jokic, takes it back. Number two, misses for a chance. Oh, man, unable to get that ball back in time. Now their team is rolling in. Here comes Jokic for a slam down. Foul, fucking one. Well, that crowd is going to have to develop and respond. I mean, they're really just trying to push it out. They are really expecting, they're not letting Luka Doncic have it anymore. Now as Gafford and Jones Jr. check in, they're back in the court as Exum and, of course, uh, Bree checks out on the bench. And he hits the free throw. 82-74, Denver still has two timeouts remaining. Looking to see if they can get a close game. Here's Braun. Corner to two. Rolls in and out. And it's Jokic with the ball. Rolling it in this time, 82-76. Under a minute left to remain in the fourth quarter. Jones Jr. now finds our way Jr. Looks again at Washington. Washington finds it over again to Tim Hardaway Jr. Double man taker. Jones Jr. from the outside. Watching from here. The pass. Here's Jokic for three. Slings it out. And it's rebounded by Gordon. 30 seconds remaining. Trying to go for a three to get a close game. Moves around. Here's Gordon for the triple. Misses. Back to Jones Jr. He will now have it to Tim Hardaway Jr. and he'll have his personal foul call on Porter Jr. And now it's Tim Hardaway Jr. He's in the free throw line, shooting two. Shooting well, you can expect what they say is going to happen now. Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to make that one a start off rumble noise for the Denver Nuggets, but the mile line will be staying silent as the Dallas Mavericks will start that first game win on the road trip. Junior makes the first free throw, and now Bruins check down as Reggie Jackson will be checking back in. No Jamal Murray tonight, as he's already on. And he's already in the medical attention room. And he gets the second free throw. The second or last time out called by the Denver Nuggets. As you have an upcoming game that's underway for you, we've got the Maple Leafs facing against the other team. As we have another one that will be on its way to have a look for the Maple Leafs, and they're facing against the Bruins at Scotia Bank Arena. That'll be the third game underway to have that one startled out as the teams are tied up by two. We're trying to see what they can do. If they can try to answer this one in. If the Maple Leafs have a good range to take the lead, or the Bruins will be lead off with a 2-1 series game. It's not what they always expected right now. I mean, I don't know what they can definitely say, but that is really like a bad one wants to take. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe there's one way they can let that happen in. We're going to make this one a lot that harder to count. And probably not. We may never know what they're going to make in this one in there or not. Well, let's keep an eye on them for, for once if they have it in there. I'm pretty sure it might be a closer game. But we'll see if this one comes in, if they have them or appearances, to go play to the team. Both teams 
seconds of one timeout left to remain. That's right now Watson checked on the court. And here comes the Nuggets. Braun with 13 seconds. Inside, makes it in. Five to the second now fights Irving. Crosses intentional foul called on Denver Nuggets. Shuffer has his foul. Gary Irving has his uncle Drew is at the free throw line shooting two. Under 10 seconds remaining in the regulation period. the free throw. Just one chance left. As right now all three players are checked out. All four players checked in. Carmel Pope, Porter Jr., Gordon, and Jokic are checked in. One shot left for Irving. And he gets the second free throw. Final timeout for Denver Nuggets with 9.9 seconds. They have no chance here. It's an A678 game. Here's Braun with the finish. Watson for three. And that ends off the first game of the second round. Denver Nuggets strike early. A 86-78 game. Well, that's what they all say. I mean, striking the first game in a second round, always easy enough. But that's what they all do. Dallas Mavericks on a whirlwind trip for the win. A chance now we go over to Ali LaForce. She's standing by. Hey. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? That's very important. Um, when we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively, it makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive. And I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. All right, Ali, thank you so much for your time. And what about wraps it up, folks? With me, Terry Cruz, along with Payne Crush and Senate Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs Conference Semifinals on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and see you later for the next game. Good night, everybody. All right, Terry, thank you. As this point is a great way to start things off. Yas, what a world trip this is, Dallas Mavericks. On the start on the range, can try to keep it on their same going. 68 and 60 and 89 was the field goal, three pointers, and free throws. Only for Dallas Mavericks, they stopped things off. But then, fast break points, points in the paint, second chance points, and bench points was 12, 52, 9, and 26 for Denver Nuggets. So they had that one in there. Only 32 assists here for Dallas Mavericks. Offensive rebounds for 12 for Denver Nuggets. 23 for Dallas Mavericks on the defensive rebounds, and 4 steals for Denver Nuggets. 5 blocks on the Mavericks, turn night great, and it was 3 for Denver Nuggets for the turnovers and points off. 14 fouls was Dallas Mavericks. 8 dunks, Denver Nuggets. 12 biggest lead, Dallas Mavericks. Only 1808 with the time of possession and only one timeout. They'll have to leave it off from here to finish things off here once and more. Well, I guess you just have to say it's a great way to have that one in there. Yeah, exactly true. Keep it up one here on a great tightness of the game. Now for you, me friend, for your three-star players of the game. All right, thank you so much. Now as they start things over here, as right now, as a broken lip leg was pointing in there, as all the replay has been finished, he only had done 13 points, one rebound, two assists. Only had five out of 10 field goals with one three-pointers and four three-pointers, only had 17 performance of one dunk. Well, he'll be missed out there, but he's gladly enough. He already had that one first half completed, but the second half was uncompleted. And this one was finished out as he left already on the court and now in the medical room. Now for your three-star players of the game. Going in as we start right at the moment, 
as I start things over for the first look of it, as I know now, it's going to be taking over. Kyrie Irving with 10 points, 2 rebounds, a 7 assists, 4 out of 5 field goals, and he only had done 26 performances. That was totally it. He's done that all. Second star player of the game, I send it over now to Nikola Jokic. With 17 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 1 block, 6 out of 13 field goals. He only had done 25 performance effort. He just got that one with a great look of it and just got keeping it up. Excellent play here for the Joker. But I gotta say now, your New Balance player of the game, the number one star, bring it all. Now because of Dallas, it's Luka Doncic. He has an incredible, breaking the record, 41 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, and only a block. I have no idea how he did that. One dunk with 56 performance effort, 17 out of 22 two field goals, 3 three-pointers and 5 three-pointers he had just made, and that's when it's just the turn to be a finish on the finish line to start for the first game. And that wraps it up, folks. First game of the second round has been complete, but the next part of the game for our number day will be game seven to finish things off for the Pacers against the Cavaliers. So keep your eyes peeled on the other side of the zone, and I'll be sending you down on the other side pretty soon. And for now, peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is what's burning on me phone here, thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time, everybody. And have a great night in Mile High. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.